he is undeniably the dark horse of Bollywood. He has been belting out great performances year after year. Just recently, he has enthralled us with his intense act in Sarabjit and now he is back with Do Lovzo Ki Kahani. Randeep Huda, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you so much and thank you for this lovely introduction. <laughs> I am very grateful. <laughs> so, how was, how was the journey of Do Lovzo Ki Kahani? Uh, it was a very uh, interesting journey. I had seen this film, uh, the Korean version of this film, long time back, always. And uh, I felt that why is uh, nobody making it here? Because it's a great story and uh, it's a very simple and very touching uh, love story. And um, so I just thought of it and I forgot about it. And then one day Deepak walks in and he says, Yeah, I want to make this film. I was like, Really? And yeah, and then uh, he said that, you know, I've got a, I have not made a film for a while and I've got this, you know, fire in my belly and, you know, all those things and I really want to make a mark with this one. And so I said, yeah, so I read the, the adaptation that they'd done and it was very nice. And uh, I said, okay. And then uh, I picked it up again, Kya Chha, we movie karni and I started reading. And I said, hey, I have to play this kick-ass fighter, you know. <laughs> and I looked at myself in the mirror and I went, nah, you don't look like a fighter. <laughs> so then I went about training for it. I trained like, um, you know, two hours in the morning for mixed martial arts and two hours in the evening for bodybuilding. And then all the food that I ate, which was really, really copious amounts of food. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, with painkillers and just, you know, being always tired and sore for six months. It was quite hell of a journey. Mm -hmm. In Sarabjit, my fridge was to sing love songs to me. And this one, my, <laughs> my fridge is telling me, Ki, Bhai, please stop eating so much. <laughs> no, like you've been in news a lot for your body transformation. How do you do it? Like for Sarabjit, it was like, on some other level and here you play a, you know, you have a bulky body and you know, not bulky exactly, but a very sculpted body. Because yeah, it, no, it's just how you prepare for it, you know, I mean, I don't know how I did it last but year. Emotionally and physically, it must be very draining out. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, but that is also the fun of it, you know, that is also why one does a job like this. But, uh, yeah, if I look back, it's all a bit of a haze, you know, I, I don't know whether I could do it again. Mm. But uh, in that time, there was this, I mean, you got to be mad about what you do and that's the only way this to do it. This passion <laughs> kept you going. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's also, you know, if, if, if this is what I'm, I usually get into the preparation part and the harder part after I've accepted something. Mm. But now that I've already accepted it, mm then I have to do it. That's kind of a, I think I play that mind game with myself. But yeah, it was uh, really hard to drop 30 kilos for Sarabjit yeah. as well from this body. And it was very sad for me as a man mm -hmm. and for my parents and my friends and Just people see. around me that, you know, you've got such a great body, you've worked on it so hard and why now you want to get rid of it? I said, yeah, but I have to, I have to, if I really want to do that well, I cannot get stuck in my own uh, you know, uh, body image and, and body ego, it can't happen, so... So you had to shed that character? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what I've been trying to do now. This is probably apparent because of the drastic body transformation, but that is, that's what I've been trying to do with all my parts. Well, you succeed in some, to some degree and some in lesser degree, but the but, attempt but this is... But remarkable and the attempt is the could same. see it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, thank so you. I'm glad <laughs> it worked out well. Uh, this film essentially is a love story yeah. and after a long time maybe or maybe for the first time you are playing a romantic hero. So well, I, yeah, I myself have said that, that this is my first bona fide love story with the, you know, beautiful girl and yeah. a lot of songs like and a yeah, story. action, romance <laughs> and emotion. And so you see doing like, like films <laughs> like these in future more often. Oh, I, this is quite, to this job. yeah, this is, I think all love stories are very catchy for everybody, you know, because that is an emotion everybody goes through in their lives. And this story is actually very larger than life in that aspect, you know, it's every 
young man's fantasy that I'll be so strong and tough that if anybody even looks at my woman the wrong way, I'll put him in, or him in his place or him and his friends also in his place. So, and a woman also has this fantasy that I, if I was with a man who'd, you know, who'd protect me at any cost and would be ready to, ready to lay his life down for me. So I think both those things are in this movie and, and you know, movies are about uh, realism, of course, should be maintained because that is the connect with the audience. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, it's a very larger than life love story, yet very simple. Yeah. You know, it's not uh, flashy in its telling, but it's just uh, larger than life in its concept and its characters. Yeah. Like she plays a blind girl, you know, if she had been a girl with eyes, uh, it would, would have hit it would have still been the simple love story, but there's an added, you know, uh, uh, thing to it. So I think it's a very good tilt up on romantic films and I like it very much. Uh, physically, you told us how you, you know, prepared for your character. Was there any emotional preparation for it? Yeah, of course, no matter what you do physically or whatever, the preparation, the main preparation comes from, from that part of the, of the process. And in the, this is one of my most shy and quiet characters a bit sure of what he wants but a bit sure of what he wants to say unsure of what he wants to say so so that was a, another new challenge uh, you know to kind of uh, get rid of because i had done may or charles before yeah. this who was a very confident character also spoke less but, but was so intelligent mm -hmm. and cunning and you know very charismatic yeah and well. very thing and here he's a bit Hit of a with the ladies yeah <laughs> but uh, Suraj, this character yeah. is a bit of a duh, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, a bit. <laughs> How much of it could you relate? <laughs> well, I, am, I can be very duh as well. <laughs> no, that was not what I was saying. No, but that's saying, true, that's but true, that's true. I can be like totally like, <laughs> <laughs> but that's from time to time and, you know, situa I think all of us can be anything, you know. We don't have any set personalities really. I mean, you might be different with your parents and different with your boyfriend, different with your colleagues, different with your sister or brother or whatever, you know. So, this is the dhermi. <laughs> uh, you've been known for playing intense roles. Do you see yourself playing like a light movie, a comedy or you want oh, to explore of, that genre? Of course, of course, of course, yes, that, that's a genre I would love to explore. In fact, in theatre, a lot of my roles, though intense is the wrong word, I think, very involved. Um, but most of the plays that I was a part of were comedies, even if they were really dark at places, but they were comedies. It's something you laugh at. Yeah, It's how you look at life. I think I, 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 I can laugh at life and myself and all that, so I think... But you relate more with the black comedy or dark comedy genre? No, no, I think, you know, they're all different genres. If I, I have already always attempted different genres, like Charles was a different genre, Sarabjit was a different genre, Charles was very stylish, you know, Sarabjit was very real and, uh, and then I did Kick, yeah. I did Highway, Rang is another era, space all together with the paintings and that, you know, Raja Ravi Varma and all that. So I've always uh, <coughs> tried to do different genres and that is a genre I'll be, I'll probably I will attempt next. Yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah, like your roles are so versatile. Like how do you relate yourself to each of them? Like do you, how do you like, for Sarabjit I know Maybe you I'm a bit nuts. <laughs> <laughs> No, like seriously, for Sarabjit, you shut yourself and you know, you had demarcated an area for yourself and you know, so is like method, you know, how, um, how do you yeah, do I don't it? know, I don't know. It's like, um, you've got to relate to it as a human being and you've got to, my idea of being in films is not uh, just to watch myself on screen or to give these interviews or be photographed and yeah, all that. Yeah. I think my quest has always been to find human beings. Uh, I find human beings very interesting and then how would they be in this situation and their point of view and all that. And that is what gives me immense pleasure and satisfaction to be able to do that. So this is the only way I know how to work. But this is not the only way at all. I mean, you can just, you can approach. Nobody is interested in the, in the process of what you do. The director also, very rarely the directors are interested in the process of what you do. It is um, the result that the audience wants and the result that the director wants. So, 
whatever takes you there man so this is what takes me there and it's not necessarily the right way or the only way